And another hot button issue that Lord Ahmad addressed was the mandatory imposition of beneficial ownership registries in the OTs come 2023. Now he says cooperation will continue. It's an issue leaders from UK overseas territories tackle in their discussions. And they're presenting a united front to members of the press. And it came after a long day of talks yesterday at the Kimpton Sea Fire, setting their agenda for this year's Joint Ministerial Council. Kimpton 27's Joe Avery reports. The common position of the overseas territories who are involved in financial services is that when public registers of beneficial ownership become a global standard, That's right. we are there. Until then, says Premier Alder McLaughlin, the overseas territories must resist. A notion supported by leaders of other UCOTA member states present for the pre-JMC talks. We have already made a stand that, that we are also going to wait until there's a global standard. British Virgin Islands Premier Andrew Fahey says pressure to adopt the public registries could jeopardize his jurisdiction's ability to pay back UK hurricane recovery loans. You cannot be putting territories back in them in a corner and you have to understand how economies work. For OTs without a large financial services component like Montserrat, the issue is imposition. Whether it's beneficial ownership, same-sex marriage or whatever, imposition is what is being proposed. So we stand with our territories, sister territories, who are affected seriously. You can't dictate from, with, from Westminster. You can't legislate from Westminster for UK overseas territories. For the overseas territories, the issue is fairness of play. The fundamental point is that there is no way we today can accept modern colonialism through the back door by allowing these sorts of things to happen. Joe Avery, Cayman 27. Leaders were also sharply critical of a February report from a parliamentary committee on resetting the relationship with the OTs.